Hello, my lovely Scorpio. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Scorpio, today we'll do your weekly energy, the second week of January. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus Signs. Take what resonates, loves. Leave what does not. And as well, loves, you know, this week we do have a new moon, a new moon in Capricorn. And very much speaks about what works for you. What are you working on? And doesn't mean that you are, you know, working on a job or a career or, you know, working on something to have, you know, financially or materially, slickly. But very much is like, what are you working on yourself? Being self, like in the self-care. That's the energy very much strong. Also, you know, the new moons are about manifestations. Putting into the universe, what are you asking from? I want this, I want that. But it's not like putting I want, but it's like I have already that. Whatever it is. For example, you, you want a better income a better relationship with your mother father or your kids it's like you put into the universe i have it already i am getting along with my peers i'm in harmony with my love and things like that all right loves let's see scorpio sun moon rising signs and venus signs what do we have for you for this coming week and what are the strongest energy and blessings we're looking at eight of pentacles nine of swords judgment there's some worries here in regards to your finances or your work or what you are putting your effort into there is something here that bothers or keeps you you know it's, I, I, I don't feel it's stress, but it's like I constantly looking at. It's like it's not that you don't work. It's not. It's not that you don't do. It's not that you don't put effort. It's not like that. But it's like what I can do something differently, so I can get better. Emperor, you know you can be better. You know, because the emperor is that type of person that. I know I can be better. I know I can do more. I know I am bigger than I'm doing right now. So that's a thing here. Or whatever you do is like, am I doing right? What is the purpose of all this? But with the judgment here, loves, I feel here you will realize what is all about that. And there is some action taken as you move forward. Three of Pentacles underneath could be about your work. It's something here is like if you do, it's like if you work solo, you might need to work a teamwork or vice versa. There's something here like I need something else to do. Let's see. Four of Pentacles. Two of Wands. I need to make a decision in this. It's like feels like something here stopped around you or you feel kind of like there's something more there for myself eight of wands six of pentacles fool whatever worked till now might not work as we speak as move forward because there is a new journey with the fool there is a new thing and this the moment with the fool is now Let's see. Three of Swords. Knight of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. It's kind of like, don't wait for whatever could come quick and easy. Do something more. Because this is the last card. Ten of Cups. This is the Milk and Honey card. That, like, 
I'm happy on my own the way I am. But it's something here that is like change the vibes, change the way of doing things. It's like till now you you could be in this full easy comes easy go but now it's kind of with the emperor it's quite the opposite energy the emperor is somebody mature and it's kind of like getting mature overnight or mature yourself overnight with the fool is like i'm not a child anymore and whatever i do till now will not work for a long time so for some of you it's kind of like it's time for a change in the way you see things, in the way you've done things. And it's kind of like, don't wait for too long. Whatever it is that. Let's see. Four of Pentacles for Scorpios. Page of Pentacles. Chariot. It's like it's the next level from small going bigger. Four of pen, four of cups, and underneath we have lovers again. Choices, Gemini energy, Cancerian energy here. But I feel here whatever was small, now it's quite a level up. And there's something here about that. Whatever was good for me now doesn't. Now does not. It's like the past is not here also there is an opportunity here to move forward and you might hold on and you might need some advice here from others could be a father figure could be advice from your ancestors from your guides because i feel here indeed it's something here that it's coming and you might feel like, well, I, I, I don't know what to do with it. Three of Swords. Seven of Wands. King of Cups. And Six of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Confidence. Have confidence in your own skills in here. Also, it's like fight for what you feel it's right for you and good for you. Because I feel here there is some things here you, you might need to do. And again, it's all about changes. If I do repeat myself, my loves, in any time, any reading, know that that repeated energy is something here you need to pay attention and six of wands with this Leo energy here is, yes, you can do it. And you can do it even better than you can think. But also there is a change here. Whatever you've done before and what you need to do, do now. Again, there is kind of the next level of choices, of making moves. Knight of Wands. Five of Cups. Devil. And Ten of Swords. And Four of Swords. Again, it's like the things here, what worked before, now will not work as you move forward. And Spirit says, take a leap of faith and don't wait for this. Whatever is here. Three of Cups. Three of Pentacles, my apologies. It's kind of don't wait something here to work for you. Or you feel like what could work? I don't know what to do in here moon i feel here the universe has your back and it's guiding you 
For some of you, you have a father figure or a mother figure who guides you. Okay. And I feel here there is something here like a big fear about finances, work, movement forward. And there's something here comes to you and you don't really know. Should I take it? Should I not? For some of you, you need to to get some advice or you need to it's like consult with somebody here should i take this or should i not should i do this or not but i feel here is not something here you you need to take it light whatever it is here for you scorpio is not feel that you can do it or you cannot move or you are restricted in any kind because you are not restricted loves because you know that the way things worked before for you to grow and for you to move forward is quite different. So is the shift happens? Yes. The universe helps you to move forward? Yes. And indeed here you, you need to, to do the work. You need to stand up for yourself. And don't feel like, well, that's not for me. Well, not for you, that got to end. There's a new cycle, a new chapter into your life. And here you are. It's like, allow the things, go, be bold. Because for some of you, you yourself used to tell you that, well, if it's, if it's hard... I will not do it. If it's easy, piece of cake, I will. And things like that. But that is over. That is over. So for some of you, you might really work a hard job or something here. Hard. There's a lot of effort. But now you think otherwise. Why should I do this? Because it's easy. It's like putting a lo long hours in something and it's feeling restricted or restricts you to do more things and now you get the realization that i gotta do something else because i am entitled to do it's like i'm not uh, just a, a simple follower i am a leader i i can do this there's something here at that extent loves and I feel here for some of you Scorpios, you might be in that mindset that that's how I've been when I was a child. I got to do this because that's okay and that's how things work. But I don't feel they will work for a long time in that formula. Because that chapter, that cycle, it's over. And Spirit says there's something new coming in. And it's way more abundant. And Spirit says, like, don't, don't restrict yourself. I'm afraid that this will not work. I'm afraid this will not be. I'm afraid this and that. Because for you to move forward is to let go those fears and embrace the new. And fight for that new. Because if you not fight, there is some hurt out there. But don't forget, the universe is helping you to move forward. Indeed. Sun. That's what I'm talking here, loves. That's what I'm talking. With the sun energy is... That energy that there's a new you. There's a new you. Blend in. As you see here, the magician is manifesting new things but also a magician is a mature person and the sun is a child it's like blending in those energies but when you manifesting them that's how it is when you work on those things ten of pentacles comes in and as you see here my loves when we take this cards apart we have seven here waiting three plus seven that's 10. But it's feeling like, I, I don't know, I'm not sure. Da, 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 da. 
but here it is once you let it go once you free yourself from those like i'm not sure i'm not okay this is not working it's not a quick fix you can do it loves and it's kind of make a plan stick with the plan and don't feel that is too much competition there for you or well it's like the opinion of others doesn't matter because somebody somebody told me once that when you lose everything in your life everybody will be away from you unless you have your guides and you have yourself and that's how you are you gotta see yourself not what others and as you know under the sky under the sun there's a place for each and every one of you so here we are loves here we are there is something here you need to leave behind because as you see here we have ten of swords ten of pentacles ten of cups ten of wands is missing which is leaving a burden behind and whatever here you care it's like a burden there is something here like a karmic lesson you need to learn in regards work or what works for you and also who you are okay because from the sun to magician that's a huge big gap so that's a blend in of the energies as somebody said like well as we move forward in life we don't need to forget where we come from but we need to focus where we need to go okay love and light scorpios i hope this helps you and moves you forward and of course we'll see you next time loves namaste